Good morning, Doug. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Hey, we're good. That's good. We're good. Everybody bring it in. This anniversary of the fracking ban in Porter Ranch, Los Angeles, a massive leak from a gas storage facility is spewing so much methane uh, that hundreds have gotten sick. Over 1,000 families have self-evacuated. Uh, the school is considering shutting down and flight restrictions have been imposed. This leak is almost two months old and may take several months more to plug. And it's at a gas storage facility. Okay. We got you. This red line indicates immediacy. Our trigger for action will not wait for mass evacuation. And these red carnations laid on top of our red line symbolizes all those whose lives have already been lost to climate change. We know some of them as our neighbors. Well, I was out here last year on this day and I had to come again because Crestwood still not stopped. With this red line, we declare our intent with renewed resolve to protect life and prevent death. And to do so, we will stand in the way of fossil fuel expansion projects, just as we have done for the past year and just as we do here today. Viva La Seneca Lake! Viva La Seneca Lake! <laughs>
means thinking about civil disobedience differently than we've thought about it before. So it's not just to make a moral or ethical statement, it's actually aimed at stopping the project itself. And that means, I think, successive days. It means rotating people through. It means bringing people in from other places. It means filling up jails. I mean, we're back to the civil rights movement of the right. 60s where they did the math and said, okay, we've got to fill the beds in the jails. We've got to overflow them. We've got to go to other places. I mean, our resistance has to ratchet up. The opposition has to ratchet up our stuff to a point where it's actually inter actively interfering with these projects. Because if you don't do that, then, and you rely entirely on the legal process, and the legal process is so stacked against you in terms of what municipalities can and can't do, that at that point you have no other option but to engage in that type of action.